So here we are in um, the Baldizzi family home. We've taken a leap forward in time to about 1935. And you'll see that around you in all of these wonderful amenities that the Baldizzi family would have enjoyed. Um, by 1935, this building has electricity, so the Baldizzi's were able to listen to the radio. Um, they had electric light and a gas cooktop which is installed here on top of the old coal burning stove and a sink and a bathtub right here. We see um, the bathtub right here in the kitchen which is typical of tenements in those days and uh, the Baldizzi family immigrates here um, after the establishment of Ellis Island. So as compared to the Gumpertses, the Baldizzi, had, the Baldizzi family had a great deal more bureaucracy to deal with um, going through the immigration process. Not least of which was the United States' uh, immigration quotas, which were on the books in those days. These quotas dictated the number of immigrants who were allowed to, to come here to the United States um, based on uh, nationality. There were fewer Italians allowed in than there were immigrants from other countries, and the Baldizzi family knew this. The immigration quotas uh, which the United States government was using in those days were based in part on what we would now consider a pseudoscience called eugenics, which is a theory that not all human beings are inherently genetically equal, and that some people from some parts of the world are inherently superior to others. So when Adolfo Baldizzi um, was prepared to immigrate here, he um, was worried that his wife would not be able to follow him if she went through the proper legal channels. He was worried that she'd be turned away. And the Baldizzi family does not know for certain how um, Adolfo's wife, Rosaria, eventually winds up here in the United States. Um, but to the best of our understanding, she works around the system. Um, and we talk about this with visitors to um, think more clearly about how immigration is discussed in the present day. Um, because Rosaria's story is in many ways very similar to the experiences of present day immigrants. We like to put faces to names and we share family photos of the Baldizzi's to illustrate our tours. This is Rosaria Baldizzi, the family matriarch. So Rosaria and Adolfo Baldizzi lived here with their two children, Josephine and Johnny. And um, Josephine plays a particularly special role in this museum because um, later in life, she discovered the Tenement Museum. Um, and I always think that must have been so strange for her to see that her childhood home had become a, a museum and a tourist attraction. Um, and fortunately, she was really excited about the museum and shared her memories with us. So I have some audio of her memories of living here at 97 Orchard Street. I remember sitting around the table in the kitchen under the window and we would, be, my mother would have made us a fried egg or something on a roll with butter. Italian music, the radio always playing. Italian music, Italian uh, soap operas and my mother crying all the time. <laughs> she used to, you know, miss her family. Her, she left her whole family in Italy, came here as a young girl, and she never saw them again for many, many years later. She never saw her mother or her father again.